Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey guys, check this out. Uh, 70 Olds 442, uh, cutlass convertible, and uh, dressed up with some really, really nice stuff. You know, um, these cars are, for the GMA bodies, probably the best riding muscle car that's out there. Not only that, they sound great, and they make great power, and uh, they really have been probably our best uh, uh, received muscle car, especially in the convertible form. I left the top up just so you can see what it looks like. It's got a great look with the top up. And uh, I'll put the top down a little bit to show you a couple of the details on it. A couple of small things that will look around the car that uh, you may or may not know, but uh, the one thing I like to demonstrate a lot of times is the paint quality. You know, paint quality uh, in pictures uh, can be very deceiving. And I should know since I buy a lot of cars and I have been deceived myself and had to, to make the necessary repairs to make sure that the person who got the car uh, got it right. So, but check this out for a minute. What I like to do is the video doesn't lie. And you come over here with me for a second. And I like to hold up this tag here. We can almost read this word for word in that paint. That's the true test of, uh, of, of great paint. As you know, and you look at, um, for instance, when you're looking at pictures online, if the, if the tree isn't crystal clear and the guy who's taking the picture, like you can't see exactly what he looks like, you know, that paint there is not great paint. And uh, you can clearly see right away what I'm talking about. Next time you're out there looking at cars, you see this here, and then go look at the distorted images in paint. Great looking paint is sharp and clear, the reflection, and that's what you should be getting. Matador red paint, got the 442 stripe, 442 call outs. This is kind of cool here, because this hood, uh, they reproduced this hood in fiberglass, which is significantly less expensive. All right, let's take a peek into the hood for a minute. I love hood pins. They just say muscle car all over. That's nice too because it has a safety with the hood pins and a secondary latch. Check out the detail in here. These engines were painted gold. Got the correct chrome valve covers. Got the right 350 uh, air cleaner on it. Carburetor preheater hose. Power steering. Power brakes. Uh, nice detail in here. You know, it's actually a little over restored uh, with a cadmium looking uh, power brake booster and things like that. I don't know. Just looks great when you go to a car show or something like that and you want to pop the hood. This is the way you want it to be seen. It just looks great. Let me go ahead and put the top down for you. Gives it a totally different look. And this is really what I talk about. This is you drive this car to work in the morning, and uh, maybe you've had a bad day at work. You get in here, you pop the top, listen to the rumble a little bit. Throw the top down. We have a completely different looking car now. Completely different. Let me close the door so you can get a quick peek of it. Hopefully you're significantly better looking than I am because uh, I do not enhance the picture, but maybe you will. Come check out the interior for a second. Very nice. This is nice in here too. Custom made 442 floor mats, upgraded seats, very comfortable front and rear. This is nice. Factory console, buckets, new dash, carpets, door panels. Uh, you know it's a console car because it has a gear shift indicator right there. Four spoke steering wheel that looks awesome in here. It's just the little stuff that makes an old a little bit nicer than say a Chevelle or uh, you know the GTO. They just uh, there's some luxury to it, and they also had a lot of power and torque. So uh, if you get a chance, uh, a 442, probably one of the best hoods of any muscle car ever built. This one's got the front and rear spoiler too, which looks really nice. And uh, more importantly, why don't you run back there and hear what it sounds like. Nicely painted underneath, nicely detailed here, nice solid floors, all new weather stripping, great looking bumper. I love the trumpet tips that are on there. I apologize for the tail light being out. We'll get that fixed. Fortunately, that just happened, but uh, that's not a big deal. The great thing about these old cars, man, is like, for instance, like a tail light bulb. A tail light bulb in today's modern car almost requires you to take the bumper off, the trunk lid off. Uh, get a surgeon in there and rewire the entire car. Here, one screw, boom, out the cup comes, new bulb, two screws back in, and if it takes more than 10 minutes, you need to hire somebody else. You know, in closing, we're talking about power steering, power disc brakes, the rumble of a big V8, the right hood, the rear spoiler, power convertible top, great looking paint, awesome stripes, just a nice, nice driving car that you can uh, uh, take for a drive, and uh, enjoy and uh, you know this is the idea behind it like you know you get in this car and you get this smile on your face 
because this is the changes to your day. You know, you're rolling down the road, people are giving you the thumbs up because they think it's cool too. And you're just relax, man. Turn your cell phone off, put a stereo in this car and, and just like listen to tunes and roll on down the road. We're Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We're super proud to present this Cutlass 442 convertible. You know, uh, this is a reproduction of one, so the original ones are selling in the sixty and seventy thousand dollar range. This is in the twenties, and it is a whole lot of fun for the money. You couldn't build this car for that price, and you'll have a great time in it. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.